What is going on? What is going on? Thank you for joining me today. This is going to be vlog one of the screen printing journey. Thank you for watching that intro. I really appreciate you guys. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you guys are returning, welcome back. So yeah, um, I wanted to do this video for a simple fact that I am starting to do the vlogs of the screen printing side. This is gonna be a long journey. Like I said, this is all stuff that that's new to me and that I'm gonna be doing on a daily basis, trying to get everything down packed. So I figured that I would make a whole vlog series on just screen printing. Um, so today I wanna to talk about some uh, stuff that I got in. I have like, I think two or three more um, deliveries that are coming in this week. So I'm just gonna try to jam pack them in this vlog, uh, vlog one series. <laughs> so um, to top it off, let's just start. Um, I had ordered my Pantone books uh, to mix colors. Of course, I ordered a digital scale. I got a spot cleaner. Really didn't need it right now, but everybody tell me just get it because F-ups is gonna happen. So yeah, I got it. Um, if anybody knows what kind of chemical I can use with the spot cleaner at a decent rate, let me know and where I can get it from. Leave it in, in the comments down below and I will check it out because I really need the chemicals for it. So you guys will be helping me out. You know, I'm a newbie. I've got my painter's tape. So when I'm uh, pressing on, on the screens, I get a tape around it. Um, I was gonna get the PMI tape that goes around, but everybody was like, it's kind of hard to get off. He said, just use regular, you know, scotch, two inch rolls. He says, you'll be fine. I also got this heat gun. Not 100% sure how it's gonna work or even if it is gonna work, but we will see, right? Um, I also ordered this is a roll of PMI dual tack, the standard, uh, sta yeah, standard tack is the 18 by 36 yard roll. Yeah, dual tack pallet tape is gonna be it. 50 sheets of transpar transparency film in a 13 by 19. This is the 20 by 24. This is the 230 mesh, I got two of them. I got, uh, this is the 110 mesh. I got two of those. Same thing, 20 by 24. 160 is the standard. So I got a big pack, six frames of 160. AK Trading Co. This is a two inch foam and it is black or dark gray, whatever. But you know, this, the size of this foam is, it's two inches by 24 by 72 long. So the reason I bought this roll was a simple fact that I can cut the inside of a 20 by, by 24. That way I can have some good compression on the screen when I'm burning it. But I also have it for the next size up, which is I think the 23 by 31. All right guys, we got a package from neverthelessscreenprinting.com. Um, I have never tried them, but I figured I would give it a shot. The only thing that I see when the guy handed it off to me is that, let me just show you. Because I, I thought this was kind of funny. So pretty much it says, do not drop, do not drop. It's do not drop, do not drop. It's like stamped all over the box. Do not drop. 
Then they also have a sticker in red that says, do not drop. As me and my wife were looking at the box, we're like, look at it. It's just like, it's, it looks like it's been through a war zone. Look at this. This is definitely dropped. Most definitely this is dropped. Um, not only that, look at this. Do you guys see that? I can stick my whole hand inside the box. Let's just open this up to make sure that everything is in good condition. All right. Let's see, look at this. It says, do not drop. Okay. All right, so first object we have here, of course, so we have a scrubbing pad. Um, More paper. All right. So I have squeegees. I should have two. Okay. So um, I have, I think these are the two six inch squeegees. Let me just open them up. Let's just open them up to make sure. Saran wrap, saran wrap. Okay. Wow. I think this is the six inches, guys. Yes, I have two six inch squeegees. So I just bought these just to, uh, just to have in case I gotta do a chest logo. You got that, chest logo. And if I'm not mistaken, this should be a 12 inch and yeah, this should be a 12 inch and a 14 inch. Wow, okay. <laughs> Maybe I should have did this off camera. I had everything out and prepared. But at least you guys can see the way they packed stuff up. I mean, I, I think that that shows that they care about their stuff. So, I mean, to have it like that. Uh, this is the 12 inch. Um, this is the 14 inch. They are both uh, 70 durometer. Yes, guys, I also had to do it. I had to do it. I had to buy the aluminum squeegees, the Eagle Forces, or whatever you want to call it, Max Forces. Um, I had to do it because, like I told you guys before, I, I want to make sure I get them all. So what I did, I brought one and one to actually try them out to, to see which one I feel more comfortable with. So this should be the 14 inch. Wow. Sorry guys, there's, there's a lot of saran wrap here. I could have wrapped up a whole sandwich with that. So yeah, this is the, um, that's pretty cool, man. I, I don't know if you see that. They actually got their name printed on it. That's pretty neat. So I, I bought it with the squeegee. I, I actually ordered rolls that are coming in soon um, in all different sizes. I even got the 60, 60, 70, and 80. And then I also got a triple durometer, which is, I think, 70, yeah, I think it was 70, 90, 70, or 70, 80, 70, either, either way, don't matter. But let me throw that to the side. Man, I like it. This is lighter than the wood. The 12 inch wood is heavier than, than the 14 inch aluminum. Ain't that something? So this might be a better deal for me because you guys know I got arthritis. So I'm not gonna open this one. This was just a 12 inch. Like I told you, I bought one of each just to try them out. Um, it does come with instructions and everything, how to change it. So let's just move on. Here we have Oh, the scoop coder. Yeah, so pretty much I gotta put it together, but it, it looks, 
Wow, they really packed it up nice in here. So I can understand it's pretty tight in here. Wow, that's tight. Okay. All right, so there's really nothing to protect the edges. It would have been nice if they would have had a cover. I actually feel the dent right here. Let me just put this to the side. Let's move on, let's move on, let's move on, let's move on. More paper, more paper, more paper. More paper. Man, I got enough paper here to fill a coffin. All right, so I also brought these. And on the online, they look so shiny and so nice, right? Let's move on. So I also brought this kit. Um, I wanted to try it out. Oh. Yeah, this box is destroyed. Um, I brought this kit because I wanted to try it out. Um, I know everybody told me good things about it. So I figured I'd say, you know what? And it's the whole... Uh, Cleaning kit, cleaning supplies for, um, you know, for the washout booth. But yeah, it's, it's you know, color change. Um, this one is the dehazer. This one right here is a degreaser. Then you have the unlock. Not sure, a screen unlocker. Not sure, one hundred percent sure what that is. I'm gonna have to read up on that. Uh, strip a do. So the reason why I brought this kit was because the guy I brought the press from, he uses this. He uses the strip a do, and he says that it is the best that he has ever used, and he buys it in gallons. So he told me, you know, hey, go, go, grab it, try it. If you like it, continue to use it. Uh, this is the plastic saw, the Bina do. Well, you guys know what this is. It's the whole cleaning kit that you can buy. All right, guys. So I finally got the last package. I actually have, I have uh, two more packages coming in, but I'll leave that for another day. But this was the main package that I was waiting for. This package right here is from Screen Print Direct, and this is all my inks. I am. Um, a little disappointed and I don't want to say that it's actually you know has anything to do with UPS or it has to do with, with uh, screen print direct but the guy as he's walking to bring bring it to my front door there is those little uh, foam peanuts that I guess they put in there it's dropping all over the place now if I want you guys to see this. Now, I'm pretty sure this white tape right here is their screen print direct tape. Okay? It's completely off. Like, it's not even glued on there. They wrapped it up with tape. I'm guessing UPS did. It might have opened up or dropped or whatever the case may be. Um, it's got a hole. Another one with a hole. I can see everything in there, buckets, everything. I'm hoping everything is in here. So, um, yeah, let's get, let's get right into it. Let's, let's just, let's get right into it. Um, all right, guys. I'm just gonna, I mean, it's already destroyed here, so. I decided to go with them because they were about $30 cheaper or $20 cheaper than actually going with the FN inks. Um, I've heard some good praises about this ink that it works very well. I needed a mixing system. And what I like about this kit 
is that you don't need a mixing white in order to make your Pantone colors. So that's one less ink that you have to use all the time. And I mean, it's not a big deal, but if you gotta buy extra inks, you know, that's an extra 50, 60, $70 for that gallon of ink every time you run out. And I know you probably won't use it a lot because it's a Pantone mix. So that's one, which is in there, okay? That's there. I brought some uh, spatulas. Um, the reason why I bought these spatulas was for the simple fact that I heard they put their logo on it. Now, if you guys know me, I don't like to put anybody's logo on any of my stuff. I mean, I'm not gonna sit there and support you and you know, I'm not getting paid to, to, to make your name or whatever in my videos. But I thought it was cool and I wanted to see how they did it. So, and plus it was cheaper than actually going to Amazon and buying. So that's why I just bought it here. So I have four of these. Yeah, it's pretty neat that their logo's on it, but like I said, I don't promote their, nobody's uh, business. Unless you want to pay, then I'll promote all day. Um, yeah, they have a QR code card that says, uh, need help, uh, thank you, and 15% off your next purchase. All right, so, so far we got two things there. Now, I also brought, you guys know what this is. I'm pretty sure when you look at this little envelope, you're like, okay. So this is the exposure calculator. And I said, you know what, everybody's using it and it's probably good for me to use it all the time to burn screens. Wow, such a small little thing for $16, right? Small little tiny thing for $16. But that's here. Okay, so this is actually the register. Wow, look at that, it's all smushed in the corner. This is a pre-registration. It's kind of hard to open. Uh, yeah, see, it's, it's good. This is just the pre-registration, so you put on top of my light boxes here. So it goes on top of this, and um, I'm able to register the, the graphics onto the, the actual screen. All right, we're looking good so far, we're looking good. All right guys, so I ended up getting, because I thought the little quartz is not gonna be enough, but I did get a gallon of black. Put that right there. And I also got a gallon of the Rabbit Cure White. All right guys, they also put a sticker inside the box. Pretty cool sticker, it says, your hustle starts here. This is the big shebang, like I said. I wanted to try, damn, this box is dirty as hell. Anyway, I wanted to try them, let's see how they are. Now I was thinking about going with the pints just to, try it out, but then I was like, well, you know, how about if I like it? Then I gotta do another order. So I just figured I'd just, just hell with it. Just go with the quartz. At least it'll last me a little bit, you know? So we have, again, the black, which I already have here. Um, another QR code thingy thing. Uh, we have a, a fuchsia. I wish they had screw tops. Because I know my water-based inks, they have screw tops. And that's pretty easy to open because I, I got arthritis, man. To open these things is kind of hard. I, I mean, I got a tool there, but... Okay, this is orange. That's orange. This is the sky blue. That is the sky blue. This is the white. Um, this is actually yellow. I just gotta read the names of some, some of these names are weird. Some, I, I had one that I brought and it was, that said sunburst. Um, this is the royal blue. 
I like this royal blue. It actually looks kind of like a, well, it's a royal blue. That's a royal blue there. Okay, this one is a magenta. This is a magenta. You know, this is another reason why I bought this kit because if you buy the F and Ink kit, you'll get a quart of everything and then this, and you'll get a gallon of white. They're mixing white, not white, just mixing white because they don't give you white and black. You have to buy that separately. They just give you the mixing white. I'm Well, that's what I see. I could be wrong, but, and then the actual magenta, they give it to you, but they give you a pint. Every other color is a quart, but the magenta is a pint. That's another reason why I went with this company. And of course, this is your red. Here is the gold, marigold. I, I know somebody who uses this and they say they love it. So I'm definitely looking forward to using that gold. And this is the Blue Lagoon. That's the Blue Lagoon. This is the green. This is the navy. This is the navy. And then this is the violet, which in return it looks purple to me, but. And we have the dark red. So this, this is counted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then the other two gallons that I brought on the side. So those are the reasons why I went with these inks instead of going with uh, FN inks. Now I wanted to go with the ICC uh, inks, but the international coating inks, they were like ridiculously expensive. I am so sorry that my dog is barking, but she barks in the wind blows wrong. Hey, come, come. So yeah, this is why I bought it because they were more, uh, these inks, these inks are ready to use right out of the box and um, you don't have to do anything. Just put it on a shirt, low cure. Well, we'll find out if it's low cure. We'll test it out ourselves. But this is it. This is the Screen Printed Journey. Thank you for watching this vlog. And I hope to see you on the next one. The next one, I'm gonna be cleaning the equipment that I got. I got an exposure unit here and a screen printing uh, flash dry, dry, flash dryer over there. So we're gonna be cleaning them up, getting them up to my standards. You guys know how I am. I like to keep my stuff clean. So on this note, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, God bless. Put God first and everything will fall in play. Peace.